I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't actually know the proportions that should be fed to a kuni kuni pig. Um, I'm going off of the, I guess the back of the um, pig feed, but then you know that's that's feed for grow grower pigs when you're trying to get them to market, which we're not doing market for these two pigs. And you know owners give you conflicting information online, and uh, I saw somebody say you feed them uh, chicken pellets because the 16 percent layer protein. I went to Tractor Supply to get pig um, pig food, which is the same that their owner, or at least the owner of the um, Kuni Kuni male, the small one, was feeding him. Um, I picked that up, but unfortunately it too was only 16%. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of research, but right now I'm, I'm a little preoccupied with the four baby goats that we got yesterday. Um, good news is... Um, any colostrum milk that I mixed for the baby goats, I, I just, um, I freeze that I don't use because sometimes they don't eat it all in one go and you gotta, it's an immediate use um, milk replacement. So any milk that I don't end up using, I put in the freezer and then in the morning I warmed it up and uh, mixed it in with, uh, I did a, a one cup of um, pig food, uh, one cup of chicken feed, and a half cup of their corn. I'm, and then uh, in the afternoon or in the noontime, I'm going to feed them uh, the mixture of Timothy pellets and sweet feed, which is 12%. And then um, uh, I bought some um, whole corn, so I'll give them a cup of that as well, maybe a half cup of the whole corn in the afternoon. I'm going to err on the side of variety is good for them. Uh, also the colostrum, I'm sure they're, they're loving that milk mixed in with their uh, pellets. They, they look like they like it. Their face is covered in uh, white milk. Um, I'm going to read the back of the uh, pig food nutritional information. Um, other folks online were saying 18 to 22 percent. That's the only reason I hesitate. Um, but for now, uh, because it's so cold in the mornings, I'm just going to give them the leftover colostrum. Um, they, they, I don't think you can feed it to the baby goats after it's a day old, but the, the pigs certainly don't care. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing that with the pigs uh, until I get a chance to... Um, until things calm down on the farm and I can uh, actually figure out a uh, balanced diet for them. I do have a scale coming, um, so I'll be weighing the baby goats and weighing the pigs to make sure they're not losing weight. Um, uh, and that the pigs actually are probably gaining weight, especially that, that big, that little tiny butt over there. That little guy needs, needs some weight. Alright, um, but I figure with the cold nights they'll, they'll benefit from the, uh, the colostrum. I'm checking their uh, heat lamp. <laughs> totally ineffective in my opinion but uh, it won't get cold again it won't be below 30 until next Monday but I feel like the heat lamp was totally ineffective I'm gonna I'm gonna um, give them a lot, give them more, a lot of bedding. more uh, a lot more I'm gonna fill this 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 thing probably a quarter or a half full uh, it's hard to fill it because I put a pile on the ground to keep them off the ground and it has slats so the, the hay has been falling into the bottom part but that's providing extra installation I feel. So I'm, I am going to fill this up because I've got the hay and the pine straw so I'm going to fill this up uh, a quarter or a half full. Uh, he does not seem to be eating as much but she is definitely, she is definitely cleaning up. She is definitely, definitely cleaning up that, that pig slaw. All right. Well, I'll, uh, yeah, to weigh these guys, I'm going to have to put, I'm going to put the scale in front of the pig food. That's the only way I'm going to be able to weigh these guys. They, they run and squeal. So I'm going to put the scale in front of the pig food and, uh, weigh them that way. So I won't be able to know their weight until uh, until the scale arrives. I have a hanging scale, but you have to be able to catch. You gotta be able to catch the animal to be able to weigh it with the hanging scale. Yeah, I ain't even gonna try to catch a pig. <laughs> uh, all right, the goats are uh, doing goat stuff. Um, Cinnamon stayed in the barn this morning with her babies. Uh, if that's the reason you guys are tuning in. Uh, she stayed in the barn this morning with the babies, uh, which I'm happy about. I thought she was going to 
abandon them. But uh, she is here, and I gave her another bucket of... I gave her another bucket of feed. Ooh. But okay. The baby goats gave me a little bit of scare this morning. No one told me baby goats sleep with their eyes open. So they had their one of them had their eye its eye open and it was like laying on its side. <laughs> I was I was like, oh no. Which one? I think it was the the white one with the one with white 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 uh, pattern on it. The white tail. Yep. This one? Yeah. I was like, oh no. And then I, I saw his ear twitch. I was like, oh, maybe it's okay. And then when I got inside to feed the goats, it, it jumped up. <laughs> no, it's probably just the weight trying to sleep. And hearing you and stuff, hearing predators in case she was just probably on the guard. And she's probably scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know where they're over here because this is the most worn spot. River's been uh, River's been helping me out as best she can. Uh, yesterday and today, um, she was helping feeding, and uh, she dried them off with the towel when they came out, and she was feeding. And uh, uh, today she's uh, spending a little bit of time with them because we we want these goats to be friendly to us. So this is a good opportunity to let Cinnamon know we don't mean her any harm because she's letting us around her. And there's a great time for the goats to uh, get used to us, so we're uh, we're definitely doing that. Um, they said when their tails are wiggling, it's it's a really good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Means they're happy. Yeah, I, th I think that one's the strongest, the one with the white speckles on its back. I think the weakest is this guy over here. That one? Yeah. Or the female with the white spot on her head. But, uh... Oh, she went for the corn and said she hit the warm one. It's much toastier in there than here. Oh, yeah. The air can go out anywhere. Yep, we got a uh, we got the space heater here. Thank goodness I got that. Um, I was thinking at first it was useless, but now with the baby goats, it's it's the only thing giving me uh, any semblance of uh, co comfort. How much food is in that bucket, River? There's a lot more. Good. Um, <laughs> can you hook this bucket up on the wall when you get a chance? on the hook on the wall yeah. sometimes they don't drink the water when it's on the ground but they'll drink it when it's hooked up on the wall all right i'm gonna feed the chickens okay. if you want to spend more time with the goats so i know right yeah when you uh, get back can you the... check their eye color and see if we've got any blue ones but no rush don't don't like feel like you gotta force green. it green her eyes are green Okay, it might be too early to tell. Um, green, I think. Yeah, that was kind of green. Dark green. Green. And let's see your eyes. Green. They're okay. all green. All right. I think that means they're all going to be brown-eyed babies. We were expecting some blues, but uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll check again in a couple of days. I believe they're all horned I, as well. I can't kind of like tell from their eyes. Their eyes are still developing. Oh. I think that one might be a blue eye. Okay. Over there, that spotted up one. I, I believe they're all horned. I didn't get a chance to check the girl, but I'll, I'll check them again um, later today once it warms up. I really, really want them to have horns. Beautiful. This one. This one. Okay. I, I don't have it. I don't have the heart to remove their horns. So we're not going to remove their horns. Um, you got to do it on between day three and ten. He's eating it. He's trying to eat it. 
You have, well, you you have to remove their horns it. between day three and ten. Maybe maybe in a week I'll feel better about it, but um, we might have horn goats. I haven't decided yet. I, I need to decide. This is what happens when you have too many animals of different types. <laughs> um, so I was feeding goats 12% um, uh, protein pellet mix uh, before they started lactating. Um, I wanted to get a, a higher protein mix for them at the uh, store. Um, unfortunately... Um, they had the babies before I could go to the store I wanted to go, but I did pick up a 16% uh, goat feed for them. So I'll be feeding that to the lactating mother now. Um, I'll continue the other goats on a 12% uh, feed. Um, they'll sometimes get the 16% because it's a little difficult to prevent them from getting into the other buckets. People have recommended leashing them next to the bucket you want them to eat. So I might give that a try, but, uh, um, seeing as uh, Fern is also pregnant and I was off on Cinnamon's due date, I'm going to just go ahead and let Fern get some of the 16% protein because she's going to need it anyway when she bags up. Um, and Mo is just hanging out, benefiting from all the pregnant ladies around. <laughs> I need to check the back of the pig feed to uh, make sure I'm giving them the diet that I want to give the pigs. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something and see how it goes. Um, these cold nights, we've got the extra milk from the goat babies, so I'll be mixing in milk. Uh, I'll warm up the warm up the milk and then mix it into their pig feed. Uh, but right now, um, I'm 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 soaking a cup of corn to get it soft. Um, they say not to feed them hard corn because they won't digest it. So I'm I'm. Um, in the mornings, I'm going to feed them a half cup of the pig food until I figure out an alternative. Um, a half cup of the chicken feed because uh, it has the same protein level. And some people were saying they feed their pigs chicken feed. I'm going to check the um, nutritional information. I know chicken feed has calcium in it, but I'm going to check the nutritional information to make sure it's a match. If it's not, I'll try to find something else. And um, I've been feeding them a half cup of their cracked corn. Once we run out of cracked corn... I'll switch over to a half cup of soaked corn. So in the morning, they'll get a cup of, uh, and it's two pigs, uh, but they'll get a cup of, and the girls definitely eat more than the boy, but they'll get a cup of pig food, a cup of chicken feed, and a half cup of soaked corn in the morning. And then um, in the afternoon, I'm going to feed them the 12% Timothy Pellet sweet feed mixture with more corn, probably another half cup of uh, soaked corn. Um, and then for dinner, um, I'll probably give them um, um, either mixed in table scraps, but definitely if, if they don't have enough food for that, a half cup of their pig food and a half cup of the chicken feed, um, probably with some water. Um, I notice pigs don't really drink that much water, so I'm gonna start mixing their feed with water just to make sure they're hydrated, especially during the hot summer days. Um, so I'm going to go with that until um, I'm going to, after I stop recording, I'm going to go take a look at the nutritional information on these packages uh, and then try to figure out what proportions I'm going to feed the pigs. Um, and like I said, or like I keep saying, I've got scales coming. I'm not going to be able to, uh, this is my hanging scale. I'm not going to be able to catch the pigs to weigh them using the hanging scale or even having a scale station. But what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put the scale in front of their food. And so when they go to eat, which they always do, um, I can at least get a, a the weight of one or both of them when they stand on the scale. Um, and then, you know, as I approach them, I can kind of shuffle them around to, to get just one or the, the one pig I want on the scale to weigh it. And I'll be monitoring their weight on a weekly basis um, to make sure that they're, they're growing the way I want them to grow. Um, I'm not growing them. These two pigs, I'm not growing for meat. Um, so I'm not, I'm worried that the pig food from the store is for meat pigs to like get them fat to market. Um, so I'm not growing them to market. I'm growing them to health so that they look healthy. So they look plump. Um, not that they're fat 
and not that I'm going to try to butcher these pigs. These are my breeders. Um, now, in the future, um, I might separate out my pigs for breeders versus feeders. Um, and I'll definitely see how, how big I can get a pig uh, once I... Um, but before I do that, I want to make sure I've got a processor in place who can help me process the pig. Uh, basically a slaughterhouse uh, before I uh, feed up a pig. Um, and again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force feed the pig. I'm not gonna like ramp up its growth in, inhumanely. Um, I'll probably at, we'll see how it goes. I'll f free feed it, free choice feed it first. But if it gorges too much, I'll probably have to not free feed it. I don't want it to like I don't want to become a Franken pig, right? Um, I want it to be a, a healthy growth, um, that you would expect a, a good pig to have, not, um, not a pig that you force feed to get to 800 pounds, but, uh, I'll figure all that out. Um, that's part of the journey, I guess. <laughs>